Hello comrades, Commissar Bro here today with the final episode of our Germany playthrough. That's right, this is the end guys. And you know, it's it's been a good it's been a good run. Really, if you think about it, we've uh, we've built a massive army, we've conquered the world, and uh, now we're basically going to attack our uh, quote allies unquote and uh, show them the wrath of Germany. That's right. It's not going to be pretty. Because I've built up an absolutely massive army of 600 divisions, uh, land divisions. I haven't really built anything in the Air Force. I've been slowly researching, uh, you know, the nuclear bomb because someone requested that I show that in this game. Like, what does it look like? So I will show that eventually. Hopefully it'll be sooner rather than later. But I make no guarantees because, unfortunately, uh, in terms of this game... It takes forever to get nukes. Like, if you thought it took a long time in Superpower 2, oh my god, were you completely wrong. Because it takes fucking forever to get nukes in the original making history. So, without further ado, we're trying to basically figure out right now exactly how we're going to do the war. Uh, I don't really know. I've set up a lot of men on... Pretty much every border I can find, uh, relatively speaking, anyway. <laughs> we've, like I said, we've got a huge assortment of soldiers down here in the Caucasus, uh, bi being built in Stalingrad and whatnot, ready to engage the Allied forces from the east. But then I have a massive, absolutely massive tank army ready to engage from the west. Uh, and still with enough guys to occupy my area. I think first things first, we'll cut, try to bring down Ukraine. Ukraine doesn't have that much land and should be an easy target to pick off. Uh, then we'll probably take off Hungary, which again, Hungary is right here. Should be a relatively easy target to pick off as well. Uh, we've got troops stationed on the west towards Spain. And then, you know, Italy, so on and so forth. You know, we're going we're gonna to bring them down. And even Romania. I think, honestly, Romania, because they have just a pretty good army spread out across the world that they might actually be more of a threat than most of the people were facing so but who knows who knows uh, i could be wrong and it could be somebody else but realistically speaking let's just com look compare that military power to the rest of the world no one is even close uh to being as strong as we are but again that they're all combined together so they've got a pretty damn good sized army just in terms of um they have so many allies and so many men spread out across so large of a territory that, you know, it might be more of a fight than I'm giving them credit for. But at the same time, I think we're going to do just fine, and I think we're going to bring down our opponents relatively easy. And look at that. The USSR has finally surrendered to the unified efforts of our opponents. Interesting, right? Very interesting. If anything, I'm glad I waited for that to happen. Also, look at communist China. They're actually turning into quite the power. They're actually more powerful than uh, pretty much everyone but Italy. So they're pretty much like third. They're even more powerful than Japan, I think, in terms of actual IPU production and whatnot. But again, without further ado, let's get this bitch started. Let's actually see where I am on the, okay, fission bomb. We're pretty close. We're only about 35 turns out, 36 turns or so. Um, so we're probably ready. Let's start our engagement. Actually, let me move some tanks over here to Spain yeah that should be enough we'll, we'll just move a few guys over there to Spain real quick to have more guys to occupy and let's get it started let's do it declare war on Italy alright that means we're at war with their entire alliance so this is gonna be interesting guys oh I hope you're ready for this and we'll bring in all those tanks on the west there um, hmm should I go ahead and hit the Italians from the west yes I should so we'll move in from the north there, bring in those 24 divisions. Ooh, I'll actually hold that position for now. No, I shouldn't. I should attack. I think we'll hit here in Trentino. And let's go ahead and move in on the Italians there in Bosnia. Take them out. Take them out. And then we'll take Veneto and then move into uh, Trentino as well, coming in from that support point we'll bring those guys up to Tyrol oh man this is gonna be an interesting turn so much is about to happen on this turn ridiculous amount of stuff's about to happen so much land is about to be conquered in the name of Germany that's right 
And I think most of our borders are relatively secure. I could have gotten a few more tanks in hindsight. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, eh, I don't think I have enough. I might have enough. It should be enough. Hope it's enough. But again, it might not be. Who knows? We're about to find out, right? Yes, yes, we are. All right, what else do I need to move? All right, we still got this guy. It's 24 divisions. So I guess we'll move that in to Piedmont. Or alternatively, I'll take that, move that there. We'll take this army, move that into Helvetia. Uh, Helvetia. We'll hold our ground in Egypt right now. We don't have any arms reinforcement. Uh, what about there? Our arms cut off here as well. Yeah, our arms are cut off in Stalingrad. So I think the first things first, we need to establish a supply line with our buddies in the east. So we're going to try to take the Ukraine as quickly as possible. We'll keep some men to defend that area. We'll take them there. Okay, well that might open up a line in my a hole in my line. So that might not be for our benefit. Whatever. This should be enough. Let's end our turn and see what happens. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's create a fascist Norway. Uh, no, we'll not create a Switzerland. All right. Yeah. All right. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Here. Let's do that. Bring them down as well. Boom. All right. Okay. So Norway is being created. No, we do not want to create a Slovakia. We're starting to lose arms, though, which we will lose very, very quickly if if our opponents get their way, and those tanks are going to get destroyed. And the Italians have actually managed to successfully hold off our advance fort, uh, our advance force in Languedoc. So we've actually got to retreat from Spain, move back up through Languedoc. Oh, that's not good at all, is it? And we'll need to bring in some more reinforcements to Schwitz there. I don't really know how to pronounce that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're going to move into the south. We'll take these guys, move them into Hungary because our troops are being bogged down in Hungary now. We'll move into Montenegro. I don't know. This is this is getting interesting already. I didn't think this would get interesting so quickly, but I'm actually taking a lot heavier casualties, and because they just have so much infantry, and there's really nothing you can do about that. You've kind of just got to power through and hope you win. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. All right, we're gonna drop two improved infantries there, uh, and plus the fact that I'm not really fighting with combined arms. I'm mostly using tanks. Again, tanks are not the best thing to use in all situations however in this case this is the best we're going to get just because they're fast we're focusing purely on blitzkrieg right now and the romanians are piercing a hole through us that's not good all right well i guess we'll just have to pierce a hole through the romanians now won't we oh yeah that's right romania brought it on yourself and i think we're actually going to create uh, greece <laughs> get get a little greece action going on here uh, let's see. We'll send that tank over there to support. Uh, we're doing very well in Italy. We've pretty much wiped out all Italian resistance. Let's merge these two armies together. Move these guys to the east. Bring down the Romanians. And move into Spain. I think we're going to need more tanks in Spain, so I'll send one that way. Uh, let's get this guy. Move him in to start occupying these lands, because otherwise they're just going to get partisans to retake it all over. Thus, effectively beating the point in the first place. Right, right. All right, no, deny. Yes, we do want to create Greece. We want Greece to be able to hold our lands in the south there. Yes, to make sure that the Romanians don't take it back. Boom. All right. Romania is getting whipped. And no, we don't want to create a Yugoslavia. All right, let's see. We should bring down Bulgaria, though. All right, we have now created a link between our lands and our ally or our armies in the west there. So we're going to move our stuff up. That's good. We're going to move into the east there. Take Dagestan. We need to take all the lands that the Austro or the the, the Austro-Hungarians the Hungarians have if we're going to be able to actually successfully win this war. We are already doing pretty damn well. Our opponents are fighting hard though in Finland as you can see. They've got our army bogged down again. They've got some serious defending bonuses, I see. Oh, interesting, interesting. Well, that's all right, because we got enough men to bring their army down quickly. Oh, wow, 33 divisions. There are just bodies piling up, and this war just started. 
That's amazing. And actually, look at that. The Baltic states managed to effectively hold off our forces as well. This is crazy. I did not expect them to actually do that. And it seems like in Germanland, or the equivalent of Leningrad, it's currently under attack. So we're going to need to send in some support to defend our areas. However, Ukraine has fallen. So, you know, good stuff there. Good stuff that Ukraine fell. Oh, yeah, man. This is, this is getting interesting. But now we've actually got most of our army can move around and do stuff. So we're going to bring them in there to Ryazan and bring down the Baltic states. That's right. All we need to do is conquer one more territory and that whole region will surrender to us. The Romanians are on their last leg already. They started out good. They started out strong, but it wasn't enough. It was not enough to hold off the German horde. Horde of tanks. Oh, shit. <laughs> It looks like the Spanish went around me, so we're going to have to go back and take Languedoc back over, which we did. Of course we did. Uh, Okie dokie. All right, so we need to reconquer our lands from the Spanish. Let's just cut them off. We'll do that. Actually, we'll take this guy here, and we'll send him over there to Pito. Take out the soldiers there. Uh, yep. Yep. And I think I'll make the Italians surrender. After we conquer that region up there. Oh, we need to take that. Ostrogano Blast. We can't let them hold that. Damn. Damn them for putting up a fight. They're supposed to surrender easily to us. Oh, and I forgot about Argentina. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They don't really have much to stop us, though. So I'm not too overly concerned about it. But we'll still send in enough to bring them down. Bomb them into oblivion, my men. Bomb them into oblivion! All right, so the fight's going well in Argentina. The fight's going well in Europe. However, the Argentinians still have quite the force on their hands. And, you know, it's not exactly someone we should just consider down and out. By no means, by no means. They've still got a huge army, lots of men, lots of occupying forces. But let's take a look and see at Europe. This is the situation in Europe currently. As you can see, we are kicking ass and taking names. However, there's still a few powers that are holding out against us, uh, despite the fact that it seemed like early on, you know, they we were going to steamroll them pretty quickly, just because they're not surrendering to us. <laughs> like Finland, they're damn partisans. I should be occupying, micromanaging, so on and so forth, but I'm not. Uh, you know, that's always been one of my one of my failures in this game with partisans. And, you know, honestly, after all this time, you figure I would just turn partisans off. But, you know, it does make for interesting gameplay, leaving it on. So that's kind of why I do it. Again, probably a bad habit, but eh, whatever. Whatever. No reason to make this any, like, easier for me, I guess. Right, right, right. My, my tooting my horn a bit too much? Seems like it. <laughs> Where the fuck are my fleets at? <laughs> I, need to, I need to make them surrender, and I need to... Okay, if I can capture everything but Aland, I'll, you know, I'll be happy. That's all I need. Everything but Aland. 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 I guess it's, I don't know how that's pronounced. Whatever. You know what I mean. Seed your territory. Wow. You stubborn bastards. All right. Well, where the hell's my fleet at? Let's see. We've got one in Copenhagen. All right. Well, let's leave port. Get him out of there. Another reason I'm wasting a lot of time, by the way, is because I really want to show you guys the nukes, so... And I know that if I don't kind of speed this up a bit, I'm not going to be able to show that off uh, within 20 episodes. And I, I kind of like the whole 20 episodes thing. I think that's a nice place uh, to go as far as videos go. And look at that. I keep ignoring France. Damn me. Damn me in my short attention span. It's going to make me lose a war here. Getting surrounded by all these enemy forces and whatnot. This is ridiculous. That's all right. I got this. I got this. The commissar has this. Don't you worry, your pretty little mind. Look at that. Took it all right back in one turn. Beautiful. A thing of absolute and pure beauty, sir. <laughs> I'm kind of rambling at this point. Where? Where? Okay, there's my fleet. All right. So we have now officially... Wait for it. Wait for it. Two turns. Two turns. And all of Finland's land will be mine. Sweet bubbly goodness. And we're going to hold off any more attack. Oh, shit. That's a massive army. We're being attacked within the north there. We need to support our guys. Put it. Put some men into the meat grinder to reinforce our dudes up there. Yeah, because we can't have that. Oh, there we go. 
All right, Finland has surrendered to Germany. So huge swaths of land that were uh, rebelling against us have now been conquered effectively and beautifully. So we've got that under our belt. What else do we need? We need war. More war! There can never be enough war! Argentina is taking control of whatever the hell that is. The Mag I can't pronounce that. Don't expect me to. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, see, they're taking, again, they're taking advantage of my short attention spans, these strategic bastards. Yes, my greatest weakness, but that's okay. I've got enough, like, industrial infrastructure to just bring a complete ass whooping. And Hungary is still fighting back. Come on, Hungary. You cannot possibly have any more. No. All right, good. We got strategic bombers. We got strategic bombers before we got nukes. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But see, we've got the. This is the last thing on nukes. So once we get this, we're done. We've got nukes. We are good to go. And I've got a huge army, just like complete. <laughs> Look at that! I take, I take one region, and then they just go back behind me and take it back. Damn it! This is ridiculous. <laughs> all right, all right, you smart ass little bastards. Let's let's uh, let's do it. Let's do it. We're going all out, and let's do it, man. Yeah. Damn you! <laughs> Damn partisans. I leave for a second. I leave for a second. These vultures. All right, there we go. Romania has been completely conquered except for one region, which we can take. Oh, I don't know. This turn? Let's see. That should, all, that should be all we need. Or not. Or not. I can't be happy, can I, Romania? I just can't be happy. You just out to just ruin the commissar's day. All right. Well, Romania has now been effectively defeated. They own something. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. Well, they own... Yeah, that's Romania. Whatever. Let's see if Romania will surrender to us and give us their land. They will. Good. Damn right they will. All right. So now let's bring down Hungary and take their land. At least, at the very least, we've unified Europe. All of Europe. All right. Let's get them to surrender to The Japanese alliance declared war on Romania. <laughs> well, poor Romania. They're just, they're just, they're just caught in the middle of all this. They didn't want no part in this. They didn't want to be a part of no wall. Damn! Look at all these casualties. Look at all those casualties on both sides. Even I've taken a lot of casualties. We'll send in the fifth corps to fix that problem. Damn it! I wonder if I can get Italy to surrender at this point in France. What are you doing, France? Get out of here! This is this this is my land. This land ain't your land. Ain't no ain't your land no more. It's all my land. All right, we have completed production of our nuclear warhead. So now we're going to take this and we are going to build atomic bombers. It will be done in 33 turns. So I'm going to skip ahead a few turns just so I can show off a nuke. All right. So after like, what, 10 years of warfare? Finally, the moment has come where we can use a nuclear warhead on one of our opponents. As you can see, this is an atomic bomber. Now, nukes in making history, again, I'm not a big fan of. They're easily shot down. They take forever to build. If you have 50 IPU city, it takes 50 turns to build. So they take forever to build. They can only target cities. And again, they're easily shot down. So we're going to try to blow up Ancona first. I have built two of these sweet, sweet bombers. I'm going to rebase this one over. Nope. Do, 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 do. I want to re rebase it there. That's where I'm going to rebase it. All right. Now the Italians, they have been our most supporting and beloved allies this whole time. And I'm about to show them why they shouldn't have done that. And we're going to drop a nuclear bomb on Rome. And boom. Oh, yeah. We've destroyed Rome. Nuclear attack. Wow. And look at that immediately. Italy wants respite. <laughs> and we're not going to give it to them because we're those guys. We're the Germans. Why would we? Now, Rome has now become a completely uninhabitable city. Uh, the, um, the IPUs are at zero, so it can no longer be fixed. Let's see if it actually affects population. We'll drop another one here on Marsh on the city of Ancona, uh, and we'll see what happens, shall we? Oh, and they shot my fucking bomber down. What a bunch of D-bags. Typical. Well, yeah, see, that's why I don't like nuclear warheads in making history. 
<laughs> they're awesome in other games, but in making history, they're not worth it. They're absolutely not worth it. Um, for how long they take to build, for the payoff in the end, it's not really worth it. And by the way, check out this attack. Look at this. Look at this. The communist Chinese, the Japanese, Koreans, Cambodians, Indians, throwing in their manpower into the army of Germany, Norway, and Greece. That's right. Let's actually just take a look. Let's step back and take a look at the world right now. Look at all that gray. We own a whole hemisphere to ourselves except for a few islands. And even then, the only powers that are left are these guys in the east. And what are they going to do? Because they're definitely not going to stop Germany. Germany has this in the bag. That's right. And I'm going to merge. And I'm just going to attack. Because why not? We've got this. I'm not even concerned. Like, they could destroy this army today, but look. I've already rebuilt most of the army that was destroyed. Since the engagement started, you can see the major losses we've taken fighting all of these different powers. We've probably lost more than we've killed. But frankly, again, I've got the industrial output, so I don't care. But, uh, but anyway... So this has been Commissar Bro, and this is the final episode of Making History Gold Edition, playing as Germany. Uh, I think we've done a bang-up job conquering the world, showing off, you know, the game. This is Making History, and this is probably my favorite geopolitical simulator turn-based game by far. I love this game. This game is so much fun to me. And I've been playing this since I was in high school, so you best believe. As far as classics go for me, this is a classic. And I love this game. And I'm, I still have the other series to finish with Yan China. So don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. It's not over yet. No, it is not. And look at that. We have a huge tank army right there just chilling in Bengal. But yeah. Uh, so I think this is pretty much where I'm going to stop this video, this series. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I imagine you have because you guys have, you know, been really supportive of it um, and watching, you know, pretty much all the episodes and so on. And like I said, 20 episodes for a Let's Play series, in my opinion, is really long. So I think this has been a healthy, healthy, <laughs> long-lived uh, series. And like I said, I really hope you guys have enjoyed it because I know I have. And I know this is this is awesome. And again, this is my one of my favorite games probably – in, in the running there for my favorite game, for sure. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed it. And let's conquer India real quick before we end it, I think. Let's do that. Let's take India by the balls. And there we go. India has been conquered. See how quickly everything happens? I love it. I just love how fast everything happens in this game. Just like, bam, slam, bam, thank you, ma'am. There we go. Tibet has surrendered to Germany. They don't even stand a chance. I feel bad for them because they're just getting beat up and destroyed so badly. Like, they, 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 they try. They're trying so desperately to fight and hold us off, and they're just not winning. They're just not winning the engagement. And come on, conquer that one last place. Defeat that one last group of guys. And it's ours. And India is ours. Okay, whatever. I'll take what I can get. Separate piece. Seed. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. We just added a huge chunk. But anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. And I will see you in the next series.